Hey everybody, welcome back to our top 10 segment where we take the top 10 neatest cars over Priority Premium on 1215 West Main Road in Middletown, Rhode Island. Let's get started. To start us off is this very unique and quite beautiful Audi S5 convertible. Now you don't see a lot of these and on top of it, you don't see a lot of them in convertible and I really like the color and these particular wheels that come on the S5 and a couple other of the other Audi models, I really like. They've got that chunky five spoke design. Um, this is a three liter supercharged vehicle, super fast, black interior, 99,000 miles on it. Pretty good on fuel. Um, they have quattro all wheel drive. This one's only $19,900 for an Audi S5. I think that's pretty great. Uh, the versatility you get with the S5 as opposed to other convertibles is it does have a usable back seat fairly. Um, so uh, going to dinner, taking the kids out, just going for a cruise, uh, or using it all year round because it has the all wheel drive capability makes it a great purchase. And I think you'd probably be the only person with one of these in this spec. And I think it's very handsome looking and very affordable at $19,900. Next is this Alpina B7 X-Drive. If you haven't heard of that before, a lot of people haven't. Now, think of the Alpina B7 as if they made, you know, they have the M3 and the M5. This is a bit like the M7 if BMW had made one. However, Alpina focuses a lot on comfort, especially with suspension tuning. But don't let that fool you. This car can really still go around the corners. I've driven a few of these, and for the weight, they're surprisingly nimble. Um, also, a very rare car, $65,900. These are usually very expensive. They have a bespoke interior, blue Alpina gauges, an Alpina body kit, Alpina wheels, um, the signature BMW headlights. This one's Alpine white on Fiona red black interior. It's got the eight speed. This one is all wheel drive and the best part, twin turbo V8. This car is extremely fast, uh, especially for its size. So think of it as like, uh, an S63, um, but a BMW. So the B7, ooh, I really like the back of this. Alpina B7 is the Alpina badges. When people come up behind you, especially people that aren't car people, they're gonna go, what is that kind of cool car? Um, quad exhaust back here. Uh, we've got the blacked out taillights, the little lip spoiler. I just think these look really neat. And anytime I see one on the road, I'll be like, ooh, Alpina but that doesn't happen often. There's signature multi-spoke wheels, blue brake calipers, and look at this interior. It is wild. It's got the crazy stereo. We have rear seat entertainment for your rear occupants. I just think this is a really neat, unique car, uh, and you'd certainly probably be the only person with one. Got the dual sunroof there, and as I mentioned, the signature Alpina gauges says Alpina in the steering wheel. We should have an Alpina count uh, thing right here for how many times I've said it. <laughs> um, I just think these are really neat and it's a steal at 65.9. Uh, if you're looking at something like uh, an M5 or something like that, it's a great car. Now staying in BMW land and at about the same price point at 61.9 is this BMW X5. And this isn't any X5, this is in 21 X5 M50i, meaning this has that venerable twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 that BMW makes that it puts in all of their fast vehicles. I think the X5 is one of the best vehicles all around that BMW makes. I still like the grill on this one. Uh, Arctic gray on ivory white. This one only 22,000 miles, eight speed. So it flips right through the gears, all wheel drive. And like I mentioned, that eight cylinder engine. Uh, the one reason I brought this up is because you don't see a lot of M50Is. And the other reason I uh, selected this vehicle is I really like the lighter interior. Uh, you don't really get that a lot. Usually it's black on black, but this is a two-tone, really neat M50i interior. Obviously, somebody spec'd this one out special. And as far as unique cars go, if you're gonna have an X5, have a cool one. For anybody who watches the show, everybody knows that I love Bentleys. And this one is no different. I really like this spec of Bentley. I love these wheels. This is the newer interior, the newer front end. This one only $99,900, right over the, under that 100K mark. It's a 16 Bentley Continental GT Speed, which is, of course, the fast one. And this is a car show and I'm a car guy, so when we see speed, we like it. And I especially like this one. Uh, if we scroll down here, it's the Onyx on uh, Newmarket Tan, eight speed. It has, of course, 
the W12 12 cylinder twin turbocharged engine and all wheel drive. Just because it's a convertible Bentley and it's made for mooching around town doesn't mean that this is an absolute rocket. These can do 200 miles per hour and zero to 60 in about four seconds. It's just a car that I've always really loved and in convertible form, it's a do everything machine. So if we click through here, it's got the black on black. I really do love those wheels. Red brake calipers, Pirelli tires, and of course, nobody does interiors better than Bentley. Look at this. We've got the two-tone, the light wood on the dash. Uh, I'm just, and the thick pile carpet you can squeeze your hands into. It's just so nice. Um, I'm just a big fan of these cars, and I think it, just under $100,000, it's a steal for a car that looks like a million bucks. Next, in keeping with the fairly rare theme, uh, this is a Land Rover Defender 90, meaning it is the two-door version of the new Defender, of which we've talked about on the show a lot, and I'm a great, fan, a great big fan of it. Um, this color is called Grassmere Green. The wheels are color matched to the body, and these are a limited edition because they are a 75th anniversary edition of the Defender. And if we go down here, Grassmere Green on the inside, uh, outside rather, uh, black, black on the inside. This one only has 1,900 miles. And I've seen these go for as much as $100,000 when they're close to new. I mean, 1,900 miles and you're getting that kind of discount, 73,900. If you're looking for something unique with a lot of capability and something that just isn't your run of the mill Defender, this would be the one to have. Now moving to the complete other end of the spectrum is this 2002 Lexus SC430. Remember when these came out? Um, it's convertible, it's four seats, although I would consider it more of a two-seater myself. Uh, this one has the chrome wheels, the dark exterior, the light interior, light interior, great for convertible, so you're not burning yourself when you get in when you leave that top down. Uh, this has the 4.3 liter V8, which is great from Lexus, and it is known as one of the most reliable engines ever built, including everything around the car, Lexus, Toyota, just known for their reliability. This is just something you can hop in and go and never have to worry about. These are great cars, especially for longevity. $19,900 for this one. It's in beautiful shape. Midnight Pine Pearl on saddle, which is a fairly rare combination. You get that eight cylinder burble behind you and the ultra reliable 4.3 liter um, V8 engine from Lexus. If you're looking for a weekend cruiser that's not going to break the bank and is absolutely dead reliable, look no further than the Lexus SC 430, especially in this really neat dark green color. Up next is one of my favorites. We're doing a lot of my favorites today. Uh, and they're all at Priority Premium, of course. We've got this 2018 G63, the G-Class, the Gondewagen. One of my favorite Mercedes-Benz vehicles because it is so unique and out there uh, and just, just super, super tough vehicle. Um, few things we've talked about on the show before. Now, this is the G63, so this has all the AMG goodens with it, uh, and it's got the big AMG engine but side pipes, it has side pipes, and they sound great if you've ever heard one of these rip away from a stoplight. Uh, they just sound incredible. You're looking for some sports car, but guess what? It's this, it's the G-Wagon. Uh, and as I always mention, we see this body line right here. This vehicle can wade water up to that point, and with all the crazy weather lately, I mean, I wouldn't mind having it. These are the air intakes for the engine right here on the top of the fender. This one's black on black, which I love. It's got black wheels. We've got the really cool brush guard at the front. It's got the upgraded front end with the LED lights and strips. I really like these. Can you tell? 91,900 for these when the new ones are going for 200, 250,000. And like I said, this is a G63. This isn't the 550. This is the big boy. And as I mentioned, we can't say it enough. Side exhaust, it's got side exhaust, and it sounds fantastic. Um, if you haven't driven one of these, get in it. You sit up high, uh, commanding view of the road. You got the roar of the V8, the side pipes, really cool AMG wheels. This one's black on black. I just think they're really neat. So we go down here. It's got the Dizinho interior, seven speed automatic. This has locking front, rear, and center differentials. Don't let the performance of this on-road fool you. This is a completely capable off-road vehicle, uh, especially with the locking differentials. Um, huge fan of these. This one only has 39,000 miles on it, super low. Uh, and if you're looking to get into a G63 and you're looking for a car with side pipes, this would be the one. 
Back down on Earth, uh, Mercedes-Benz also makes vehicles that aren't quite as flashy and wild, but perfectly as capable. Especially if you have a bigger family or you do a lot of trips, you have a lot of kids, or you just like the extra space in a big vehicle, this is the Mercedes-Benz GLS 454-Matic. Um, I've always liked these. This is a 22 model. This one, of course, black on black. 34,000 miles. This has the turbocharged six-cylinder engine. It's all-wheel drive. The 4-Matic system, like I mentioned, the 9-speed automatic transmission. These are great family haulers. They have plenty of ground clearance. They're reliable. Um, I also, I really like the design of these because when you get to bigger vehicles, it gets a little odd with the proportioning, but I think Mercedes-Benz really nailed it with the redesign of the GLS. Notice we got a big sidewall here, so no problem over crazy potholes and speed bumps and things. And this has three rows of seats and plenty of room behind that third row. And when you fold the seats down, I mean, it's, it's cavernous. It's, it's big or not bigger than a Suburban uh, or something similar. So if you're looking for a vehicle like this and you need a lot of space, but you love that nice European feel, the GLS is a great vehicle for that. Now, if you like that G-Wagon I talked about, but you need a little more space, kind of like that GLS, but you still want something really cool, this is your vehicle right here. This is a 2023 Maybach GLS 604 Matic. Uh, notice that compared to the regular GLS, it has all the Maybach fixins. We have the new front end, front fascia. This is all metal down here. The Maybach specific grill, emblem, headlights, and interior. This one is so new on the lot, there aren't even pictures of it up yet. $149,900, especially with new G-Wagons going for $200, $250, dollars This is a bargain, especially if you need something a little bigger to haul around your friends and your toys. Polar white on black, like driving a tuxedo. This one has the big, huge V8 in it, super fast, nine-speed automatic. This has specifically tuned suspension for the Maybach. It's ultra luxurious and the interior is out of this world very bentley-esque if you will so if you need the capability of the gls but you like the performance and craziness of the g-wagon the gls 600 maybach is the vehicle that you're going to be needing last on our top 10 but certainly not least is this 2020 mercedes benz s 564 matic i've talked about the s class so many times i think these are just the most stately machines as a sedan guy um, I don't need to haul around a lot of stuff. I have other vehicles for that. I love an S-Class, and if you want to do miles, and uh, or if you just like a nice, luxurious, comfortable, high-performance vehicle, this is the one to have, in my opinion. I really have always loved the S-Class. It says, you know, it's classy, it's successful, it's understated. It's all those things you really like about a Mercedes-Benz product. It has great headlights, really great understated styling. This one has the split five-spoke AMG wheels and it's in white. And this one has the porcelain espresso brown interior, which is gorgeous. 20,000 miles on this example, all wheel drive, of course. Nine speed automatic transmission. You can use it year round. Perfect to take your friends to dinner in. I just think it's a really elegant car. It's an elegant shape. Uh, and when you see it on the road, it just exudes class and style. We look in here, of course, it's got the two-tone interior, the Burmeister sound system, the dual panoramic roof. It has everything that you would think a modern Mercedes-Benz would have, and it will take you there in very quiet and quick luxury. Um, as far as large sedans go, my personal favorite is the S-Class, and the new ones are getting pretty expensive. This one with the modern body styling and all of the goodies, $64,900. That concludes the top 10 segment for us for today. And now on with the auto show.